Welcome back to Against the Storm, folks. As you will notice, uh, things are a little bit different than we left off because I realized that I had been... I hadn't fully understood the game and I was making a lot of stupid uh, mistakes. Also, uh, I quit uh, Tutorial Town 1 uh, because I, I went in just to try to play a little bit before I recorded. And then I didn't realize that the game continued, so I was missing uh, Tutorial 1 Town and only had Tutorial 2 Town. So that's why we are basically starting over. I have played Tutorial 1 and Tutorial 2 Town, so we are basically starting the city that we started in the last one. But let's go in here and take a look. So one thing is we have some trade routes now. Uh, we we'd had that before as well, but not that many uh, we have some uh, food stockpiles we can go ahead and buy upgrades I think uh, so this one we can go ahead and buy this is the food stockpiles that we use to buy these so we'll un unlock the obsidian archive Unlock that. And we could actually upgrade another one. Uh, so, extends the range of cornerstone options to be chosen at the beginning of each year by one. A place where villagers can fulfill needs, religion, luxury, free education. Okay, so, and what is this one over here? Pioneer's Gate Level 1. Essential buildings can produce spark do. It can a mine can only be placed on coal and ore veins digs up copper ore and coal and paved road a road made out of the process stone or clay 20 percent villager speed increase that's actually quite nice so which one do we want to get i think we'll do this one to get these three essential buildings and i think that'll be good now, Deeds, uh, we haven't started this yet because we were in Tutorial Towns, but uh, yeah. Little settlement at least four fields away from the Citadel, win a game with at least 35 villagers, trade goods worth 200 amber, complete 20 orders, discover 20 glades. I think we'll track that one. Uh, win a game with zero, zero villagers dying. I think we'll track that one as well. Don't let the queen's impatience grow above six in a single game. Win a game with 200 paths built. All right. So. We have bought our upgrades and so on. And now we need to figure out where we want to build our town. Uh, so... Hmm. And we could build here. Relatively close to Tutorial Town 2. But also, we can't build out there. We can't see that far yet. Uh, you know what? Let's build here. For whatever reason. Royal Woodlands. Magnitude mild. It's normal. Effects plus 10% something. Rewards 14 food and 60 experience. It's the same for everything, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if we go here, then there's a bigger reward and other effects... But we will start here, I think. Let's do it. So it's medium, it's 12 of 12. Uh, difficulty is normal, soil is average amount. We get 14 uh, food stockpiles. We get 60 experience and we get Woodland Town. It's a town specialized in woodwork. Provides access to wood plank root, uh, grass cap, mushroom and grain trade routes. Okay, 
Uh, we will, of course, uh, use our embark bonuses. And we will embark. All right. Forest mysteries. Mushroom after rain. Plus three to mushrooms production. Gain additional mushrooms every yield from gathering, farming, or production. Invigorating winds will fit at least the following needs. Clothing times one. The unit moves plus 20% faster. That is very nice. Uh, active in drizzle swarms. We fulfill at least the uh, following needs. Complex film time one. Motivated. This unit is in a good mood. This effect grows every minute. Okay. It affects lizards. This affects humans and beavers. And then we have the looming dark darkness. The rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. Stacks with hostility. Uh, minus five for global resolve. Cover and glade during the storm will decrease resolve by minus five for three minutes. Okay, fulfill at least the following needs from nauseous spores. Uh, services times one. Break increased to 200% normal time. Affects humans, beamers. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's uh, pick a blueprint. Um, actually, yeah, we need to pick a blueprint. Am I sure I want to do this yet? I'm not. Uh, because I don't know what the orders are yet. Let's see, there are several glades up this way that we can discover. And there are glades down here. All right, cool. Let's build a uh, woodcutter's camp. Is there any visible farmland? No. Okay. Uh, let's build the woodcutter's camp here. All right. And we can go ahead and play. We'll build uh, shelters. One here, one here, and one here. All right, we'll assign our beavers to this, and we will mark some trees to be chopped down. All right, we have clay deposits, so a stone cutter's camp. We have uh, grass cap mushrooms. We need a herbalist camp for that. And that's about it. So we have no food production right now. That's not good. Uh, we do have the paid road. But we need what for that? Uh, I think. Uh, okay. I think. Stone or clay, so clay, I guess. All right, the Queen's Envoy, the Vineyard Town. The settlement specializes in wine production, gain plus one to beaver resolve for every 50 wine produced. Reinforced tools, plus 50% to amount of goods produced in the small farm. I think I'll wait a little bit. We'll go in and pick these. So, objective is a herbalist camp. Uh, path. So, 35 paths will give us a perk useful tool for creating drainage ditches. Villages move 10% faster on roads. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the other ones before we pick that one. If I can. I can't. Okay, I have to pick this one first. Uh, we don't know that we can get a herbalist camp. So, let's first go in here. So furnace, what what do we have already? Uh, so industry, we have crude workstation, makeshift post, mine and rain collectors. City buildings, we don't have much. Uh, what kind of camp, stone cutters camp and uh, scavengers camp, okay. So the lumber mill can produce planks, simple tools and flour. 
The furnace can produce bricks, copper, and pie. I like the idea of pie. What does it take to make pie, though? All right, I think we'll go with that. Then there's a carpenter. Can produce planks, training gear, and packs of luxury goods. Uh, the supplier can produce fabric, pottery, and pack of trade goods. But we can already... Hmm... Let's choose the supplier, I think. And then the small farm or the forager's camp. We're definitely going with the small farm, I think. Even though we don't have any fertile land yet, I'm hoping that we get it. Now let's wait. So we can pick... We'll pick this one for sure because we didn't get a herbalist camp yet so we'll pick that one then we have an objective of a mush soup uh, not very tasty but easy to make produced in brewery brick oven druids hut granary or cookhouse we don't have any of those copper ore a soft and malleable metal obtained in mine okay i wouldn't mind the villagers but I don't know that we'll be able to produce the mush soup, so let's pick that. Uh, five simple tools, two woodcutters camps, 30 logs. That's something that we can do. We get a beaver, we get some parts, and we get a pack of roots. The other one gets us uh, biscuits, uh, goods, and jerky, which would be nice. But let's pick this one. All right, so here, I, I don't know what I want yet. I don't know that we'll find a, uh... all right, we'll build that. And this one is a herbalist camp, which we don't have yet. And we'll also build another woodcutter's camp I think down here. Uh, will it fit there? It will. Okay. And Vineyard Town. Uh, let's get the reinforced tool. No, we're not going to pick this yet. Because we haven't picked this yet. We are going to need food, though, and very soon. Uh, let's see. No, do you get? No, neither of these get bonuses from this, but we'll put two lizards in there. And then we'll put a couple of humans in here, and we'll mark these trees for cutting to get down to this glade we're almost at that glade so that's good um, all right we need to build some paths so let's go ahead and do that We might as well. All right. All right, so we opened up this glade, and there is a fallen human explorers. explorers. So I'm going to take one of our guys off. And we'll put you on there. I don't want the human going there because the minus six to humans resolve, that's not great. So, and they need 30 common wood. And we get a bundle of plant fiber and some, uh, some parts. How many parts do we have? 
7. So even though I think it would be nice to send it to the Citadel and get the Amber and the Queen's Grace, we'll loot the bodies and uh, get those uh, parts. Up here we have... requires 6 tools. Uh, biscuits, chest of coal and oil. Queen's Grace. Yeah. Uh, I won't do that one just yet. What I will do is move this uh, up here. And I'll cut into there. Okay. And that means that we can build more paths. Uh, you know what, let's pick that and let's pick the uh, small farm. We didn't get any farmland here, but I'm sure we'll get some eventually. This is Dewberry Bush. Okay. The scavenger's camp. This would be nice, actually. Right, 17 of 35 paths built. Uh, we should be done with this one. Yeah, we can deliver this. Get a beaver, parts, and a pack of roots. Uh, so deliver that. And we can assign uh, the beaver that we got down here. We've delivered 20 of 30 wood here. How many uh, tools do we have? None, it seems like. Okay, so this might, that might be something that we need to pray for. Bakery. Biscuits, pie, pottery. Or smokehouse. Turkey, pottery, or incense. But the uh, furnace can produce Bricks, copper, and pie. We can always ready produce pottery in here. Uh, so, biscuits, pie, pottery, jerky, pottery, incense. We'll see what our next orders are before we pick that, I think. Okay, we need another shelter. Uh, housing, shelter. Put that there. Alright, and we can see that next storm is in 1 minute 50 seconds. Okay, dewberry bushes is all we got here. And that's the herbalist camp, which we can't do. Um, I do think I want to get the trading post built somewhere. There isn't a lot of space. Let's build the trading post there. And here, did we just open this? No. There we go. Uh, root deposit, small, and fertile soil. Good. Fertile soil. We like it. All right. Um, kind of like to put this away to make a bit of a bit more space. So let's just do that. The fertile soil would be very useful, though. And once you're done cutting down that tree... Uh, we will move this down here and we will mark some trees on this fertile soil to be chopped down. Okay. 
Uh, this is fulfilled, so we're picking up our stuff now, which is good. Did we build our paths? No, 30 of 35. Okay, so we need some more paths. So, path. We need to come down here anyway for the farm. Okay. It's going well. So, uh, discovered three gates plus 30. Villagers 10 plus 20, woodcutters 6 plus 30, hearths 1 minus 20. Okay. And here we are in the storm. So we really don't want to be... Um, discovering this glade during this uh, storm year because there was something uh, where was it uh, so creeping shadows discovering a glade during the storm will decrease global resolve by minus five for three minutes so let's not do that if we can help it All right, we have a decent amount of space to build up here. So that's good. All right, and we should have an order ready to deliver now. Yep. So let's deliver that. that gives us a bit faster movement. These trees are being cleared so that we can get a nice big, well, small farm in there. Okay. The resolve isn't the worst. We do now have two new buildings that we can pick. All right, the storm is almost over. Uh, that has been chopped down. Uh, let's move this a little bit down here and chop these few trees as well. So they have a nice clear area here. And we can also again mark these trees for chopping. All right, we have the trader here. So, we have a lot of anything. We have a lot of wood. How? So, we needed six here, right? I think that would cost 60. Now, we can actually type. No, not even close. Valuable good. Uh, let's just go try and go to max. That actually gives us the trade, but I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. Uh, let's go to 100. I mean, we're chopping down wood all the time, right? No, we can't do it. We can't do it. Uh, hmm... I don't think there's anything I want right now. We've, there are also these uh, perks. Okay, come on, one. Again, plus three wine for every 15 ale produced. Will your movement speed is increased by 10%? Plus 10, plus one to grain production. Now that is very, very useful. Let's remove you. Ooh, the foragers camp. So we need uh, amber for that. We don't have any amber. So that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's just keep going. 
Uh, we have some new people. I think I'll go with one of each. Instead of three humans. So accept those people. Then we have... Uh, okay, so sloppy wood coloring. Wood coloring speed is increased by a plus 100%, but fuel burns 200% faster on the hearth. All caps production is increased by plus 50%, but all buildings using fertile soil have their yield decreased by 50%. I'm not really not wanting to do this because we specifically got the small farm for food production and we got the the tools thing for the small farm uh, so i guess it's gonna have to be this one or we could maybe just not try and not pick one let's try and not pick one uh, i do want a food production small farm we'll put it down here All right, it's drizzle. Uh, yeah, we do need more housing now. Uh, uh, housing, shelter. Let's put that there. We have everything that we need, right? For this. No, we do not. We need a makeshift post. Uh, industry. No, we need a, a crude workstation. Uh, we have new orders available. Keep beavers was all above 65 for 30 seconds. Or mush soup. Wow, that's a lot of villagers. I think I'll do the beavers resolve. And then... For eating jerky. Goods packed for delivery used for fulfilling orders or trading. Produced in makeshift post. Okay, so we can do this one. Uh, beaver clan support after the... Okay, plus three resolve to beavers. Uh, two parts and three beavers. Let's pick that. Right, that's kind of built and right now I really just want it to be making planks and I think who who gets a bonus for being in here you do okay uh, and you like uh, warm places so let's do that and we'll set a limit of let's say 25 planks uh, 25 and 25 not that we really need to have uh, those set right now but we definitely want these planks to be made so they produce two each so that's four planks which means that we'll be able to build a small farm uh, which means that we can put down these farm fields. Oh, and we just discovered the glade. Let's have a look at what's in there. So we have for the trapper's camp. And that's about it. Okay. Now... This woodcutter's camp is done with what it was doing. So let's move it up here and start working towards these things. And mark that. Mark that. All right. It's clearance next storm in two minutes. If they can, uh, let's not mark this yet then. Hopefully they can get this done before the next storm. 
Uh, I really don't want any of those. Um, the bakery can produce biscuits and pie, jerky and pottery. Uh, what did we get in here? We need uh, trade goods. Okay. So uh, these guys, what are their needs? Um, oops. Uh, so they want biscuits, pickled goods, beaver housing, clothing, leisure, education, luxury. Okay. So we want to get biscuits. So that's you. Pick you. And then the smokehouse can do jerky pottery, incense, the lumber mill can do planks, simple tools, and flour. We'll get that. Uh, you don't have anything to do, so we can remove you from here. And then we can try and move this and see if there is anything that this thing can do right now. I don't think there is. Uh, yes, there is. Not bad. So we'll get you two back in there. Uh, we'll get humans in here. Uh, let's actually just get one of you in there and get another human in here so that we get this farm going nice and quick. Okay, so each uh, race has different needs. So the humans want jerky, biscuits, pie, human housing, clothing, leisure, and religion. Uh, these guys want biscuits, uh, pickled goods, beaver housing, clothing, leisure, education, and luxury. And these guys want jerky, pie, pickled goods, skewers, lizard housing, religion, and brotherhood. So it's it's different things. Uh, let's see, did we? Yeah, we unlocked that before. Good. And up here we have something for the herbalist camp, which we don't have. Okay. Now. Reinforced tools, yeah, plus 50%. Uh, useful tools for creating drainage ditches, looming darkness. All right. Okay, so another thing that we can look at, so the trader isn't here right now, but we can take a look at trade routes. Uh, the only thing that we really have a lot of is common wood. So if we look at Tutorial Town, can we sell common wood to them? Uh, we can get... Uh, pottery or we can get ale but they don't want common wood for any of it uh, what about tutorial town one no they don't want common wood there we can get coats and trade routes or uh, coats and ale in here we can get spices uh, human lucifer favorite plus one to global resolve and stone but they don't want any damned um, any of our things so that kind of sucks all right the storm is almost over well let's unmark that uh, we'll move the woodcutters camp uh, over here, I think, and start working in there. All right, uh, let's move you, and we'll mark some trees for cutting. And up here, we'll move you uh, in here, and we'll mark some trees for cutting. Let's get those glades open. Okay. Three humans and two beavers and two humans. Let's go to two. Uh, grain delivery line. Ten grain per minute. Nice. Spices. Herb and root production is increased by one for every 50 brisks, biscuits produced. I think I'll do the grain. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do the grain. Uh, we need more housing. Uh, how close are we to doing any of these? Uh, we haven't gotten any copper ore. The beaver's resolve is pretty low. We need to make a makeshift post. Uh, industry makeshift post. Let's put you here. Uh, our food is seriously going down. Uh, we also need a lumber mill to make us flour, I think. Now, we're going, we're getting a little bit low on food, to be honest. To say the least. Uh, so how about we get a bunch of eggs? Let's get uh, 50 eggs for uh, 50, no, common good, common good. All right, how about uh, 25 eggs for 50? No. Okay. Plant fiber, resin. Let's try taking these out. Let's see, plant fiber. If we give you 25 plant fiber. Nope. How about resin? This will do it. This will do it. Hmm. Oh, we have a lot of clay. So let's do 20 clay and 20 plant fiber. That's too little. So 22. No, 22. That's doable. Let's trade that. Okay. So that's a bit more food for us. And hopefully this farm will start helping. Uh, we do need... Uh, so the rain collector creates spark dew. Whatever that is. What do you need to make pie? Uh, can we see the recipe for pie somehow? Uh, I guess if we build this, we can. Alright, uh, we need our makeshift post. Why is no one uh, working in there? Oh, we, 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 we just set it up. Uh, it's in here. I want you to make bricks as well. And in here, in the makeshift post, we can make pack of crops, pack of provisions, pack of building materials, and it's building materials that we want. Uh, I guess it's you who get the bonus there, yeah. Well, you know what? We might as well put you in there. So five to resolve. Our food situation really isn't good. Uh, let's see. 20 packs of luxury goods. Clothier, carpenter or smithy. Or copper ore. We haven't found any copper stuff yet. Have we? Uh, this is mushrooms, herbalist camp. This is herbalist camp. This is scavengers camp. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know I can pick, but I don't want to right now. 
clothier, carpenter, smithy. Do we have a clothier, carpenter, or smithy? Uh, no. So we're not going to pick anything just yet. But we're down to 40 food. We have 13... Uh, 17 inhabitants we have room for three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen so that's fine uh, so we have this with the uh, pack of building materials uh, we're making a pack of building materials we're making a pack of luxury items herbs Uh, so I think we got a lot of roots, right? And we have a lot of roots here. Yeah. We only have one person working it, though. How many roots do we have? We have no roots. Uh, uh, let's put you in there and you in there. Get two people working that. Uh, we need bricks, so are we making bricks? We are making bricks, good. Uh, we, we have the scavenger's camp, we do. So we could build the scavenger's camp and get this going. No, that's a trapper's camp. All right, clearance. We are going to harvest now, so we're going to get some veggies and some rain. Lumber mill needs fabric as well. Okay. Uh, let's make fabric as well. Hopefully we have... Some... No, we don't. Uh, great. A plant fiber is what we need for that, right? Yeah, plant fiber. So we can make fabric. All right, so you've got the bricks. We need to make plant fiber or fabric. So let's just do this for now. And get some... Um, Get some fabric going. Uh, we didn't get any copper ore. I really want copper ore. We have four uh, packs of building materials now. Um... I don't think we're going to pick anything yet. We're cutting that down. And what is the other one doing? It's cutting this down. Let's move you a little bit closer. I'd very much like to find another farm. Okay, are you working? Yes, you're producing cloth. Good. And then I think we'll turn these on as well. I think we'll just turn everything on now. So once this cloth is delivered, uh, let's see, you are producing a pack of crops. Uh, I think right now I'd really just like you to produce packs of building materials. Uh, 
We are down to 17 food. Have we, have we harvested this? We do have two humans on this, yeah. And for food, we have now seven veggies and 12 eggs. Okay, uh, next is the storm. I don't think we'll be able to clear this out before the storm hits. So let's unmark this and mark this. And the same down here. Unmark this. Uh, mark this. Okay. Well, food is our problem right now. Food is a big problem right now. Uh, you are making everything. Yeah, I know I'm low on food. Hopefully the trader arrives soon. All right, we have this now. Uh, so we've got at least one person in here to produce flour, I think. But actually, well, we don't have any of these. So let's not do that. Let's... Yeah, we can't do that. Uh, let's not produce uh, planks here. Eight wood for two. This is... Uh, three wood for two. Uh, we should have a lot of grain. Yep. Um, over here. So flour and herbs are turned into pie. I would like to have a builder, but... All right, food is going up right now. We're getting roots in, we're getting veggies in. Okay, Beavers Resolve is 49 right now. We only have four packs of building materials. I want more. So you guys are making fabric and bricks. Uh, you are making uh, flour and planks. Let's uh, say 25 and 25. We haven't found any copper yet, which is annoying since we have the mine. All right, storm is almost over. There we go. We can demark this and mark this. We can demark this. Mark this. And not that one tree in there, no. Alright. Uh, we can also build a path down here, make them walk a little bit faster. And I guess over to here. Um, yeah. Alright, so we can get some people now. 131 or 211. I think I'll go with 211. And we will. We already have two people assigned in there. We'll assign uh, another. No, you don't get. No, you don't get. You get. Oh, you are very proficient in that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, let's not have a human in there, and then let's just do that. Uh, we have a new. Uh, 
Egg deliver iron. 10 eggs per minute. That would be very useful. Uh, some woodworkers just can't stop working. Gain two barrels for every five planks produced. Or egg delivery line. Gain 10 eggs per minute. 10 eggs per minute for sure. That'll keep our people relatively fed. And we still can't really choose any of these because we don't know what we're going to get. Okay, 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 okay. Exciting. All right. Hostility of the forest is now level one. Uh, we do need more shelters. Housing, shelter. Uh, let's build one here. And let's finish this path up. And we will have to continue on in the next one because we're out of time. So, um, yeah. But we have some interesting glades out here that we can discover. It's pretty good. The only problem we are having is food, really. Uh, but now, with these 10 eggs per minute, we are better off, I'd say. But once these roots go away, what the heck do we do then? Um... What the heck do we do then? Well, we'll have to figure it out. Oh, here we go. Uh, there's some uh, a stormbird's nest. The trappers can't dance. Uh, this is ooh, clay deposit. Okay. And 40% chance to get copper ore. Nice. Uh, and a glade event. A destroyed camp in the wilderness. Do they want eight broccoli? don't have eight broccoli right now or eight well it is broccoli but eight vegetables uh so one beaver i'd rather have this one uh let's assign a lizard to that the stone cutters camp once it's done down there we can send it up to the other one Or should we build a mine up there? I, I don't... Uh, is, this is only via the stonecutter's camp, not the mine. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, so we opened up in there. And there is another small farm. Uh, food production. Oh, we have the bakery. We could make the bakery. Well, small farm. Right there. This woodcutter's camp. Uh, move. Over here. Mark some of these trees for harvesting. Mark these trees for harvesting. Oh, we're into this glade as well. Oh, there's another uh, farm. Worm tongue nest, forager's camp, or trapper's camp. We have neither of those. That would get a, give insects and meat. That would have been kind of nice. But anyway, we are out of time for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.